Hello YouTube, today we're going to be talking about Eastern Boxers, we're going to continue the segments on before hibernation kicks in. But this is an Eastern Box Turtle, you can tell by the collar of their top shell, the corpus, corpus I cannot pronounce very well, because I live in the mountains, but anyways that's my accent kicking in. But, and this is their plastron, just common things. and. That right there where their tail is, right there, that is their cloaca where they use the bathroom. And that's how you can tell by sexing them is by right there or by their eyes. But, anyways, today we're going to talk about proper place for them to live. Some people try to keep them in tanks and stuff, and that's not the best for them. Because I've seen people that keep them in there, and they're really depressed in there. Because they belong in the outdoors. You know, I keep mine outside, and he does really well. He enjoys the morning sun and stuff. He loves to bask and stuff, you know. But anyways, if you keep him inside, and the humidity, and the lighting, and the proper care for him is wrong, they'll die very quick. They won't make it a year. Um, but if you keep them outside, they'll live a long time. The a they can live up to a hundred years. That seem that is a very long time, but it's true. They've had documents of turtles living up to a hundred years and farther. Um, right now he's about twelve year years old or so. Um, people say they can do it by the checking the rings on their scutes right there. But honestly, honestly, um, you don't really know for sure unless you got them from a hatchling. But, anyways. Um, they need the proper lighting, and water is very keen too. They need a good deep um, water dish to go in and to get out of easily that you can keep keep hydrated. They need to keep hydrated, and also they need a food bowl where they can keep food at all times, especially during the fall months when they're about ready to go into hibernation. You need to keep food for them about all the time, so whenever they get hungry, they can eat. So they're ready for sure for the winter. But, um, I am building right now an enclosure for mine, but I'm keeping him outside. But a good enclosure would be probably four feet by, two feet by four feet. Uh, that's plenty of room for two or three turtles. But that's the size I'm going to build mine. Because I'm going to have another one. This spring, I'm not getting her right now just for the simple fact hibernation's on its way, and I'm just going to hibernate him alone this year. But you need good, good, good outdoor space for them because they do better in outside than what they do indoors. Um, but, you know, it's whatever you think, but that's the best, in my opinion, for an eastern box turtle. Um... You can also read on Austin Turtle Austin's Turtle page that we will tell you a lot about them, and it's a very good place to get some knowledge about turtles. But here's my turtle. He's going and venturing in my yard for a little bit, and just enjoy the video and add, subscribe, and comment. I will be posting more videos later. Um. The yeah, enclosure one wasn't too long just for the simple fact. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I did forget. When you do build an enclosure, it should be um, a shell, their shell length and a half more than what they are. For, so they won't climb out because turtles can climb very well. And also in the enclosure, you need to dig at least two inches to three inches under it. So they won't dig out because they can dig and climb very excellently. So, watch out for that because they will escape. Because um, he's escaped once or twice and I've caught him, thank the Lord. But, yeah, so just watch out for that. And that's about it. Just have plenty of room for them to mosey around, get plenty of where they can get excellent sunlight. And place for them to get into water and soak and get out easily without drowning themselves. And places to hide and dig because they dig to regulate their body temperatures also and keep them warm and cool. 
but that's about it um if you have any more questions hit my youtube channel and i can help you um it's turtle guru 138 just add subscribe and comment thank you and thanks for watching